Hi, everyone. My name is Kim, and I'm from the Aid Group 2015, and I may have been your counselor or your CIT in Cabin 9 and 3 quarters or in Cabin 1. But today, from a path behind my backyard, I'm going to be leading you in a sort of camp-themed meditation activity. First, I want you to be able to find a nice place to sit down. You might want a blanket. I have this one, but any blanket will work. And now, if you have any jitters you want to get out, we can do that now. Maybe hit your feet against the ground. Wiggle your arms a little bit. I want you to get out your pen and paper, and together we're going to envision our favorite places at camp. So, for me, the first places that I was thinking of is the ski dock, the sailing point, the archery range, the photography darkroom, or the craft shop. Whatever it is, I want you to choose one place. And it helps me to draw a picture, so I want you guys to draw a picture of your favorite place, wherever it is. And so, this is what I came up with. It doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be accurate. You're going to slowly breathe in through your nose. Hold for one Nokomis, two Nokomis, and then breathe out through your mouth for one Nokomis, two Nokomis, three Nokomis. Now, you're going to either in your head or written on paper, you're going to list five things that you see in your favorite place. So when I'm at the waterfront, I can see the waterfront tree. I can see the Camp Nokomis rock. I can see the tag board. I can see the fire pit. And I can see the dock. Now you're going to list four things you can touch with your hands. So when I'm at the waterfront, I can touch my purple towel. I can touch the grass around me and underneath my towel. I can touch my book and I can touch my red water bottle. Now you're going to list three things that you can hear. So when I'm at the waterfront, I can hear Spalding talking to the lifeguards. I can hear the lake washing up on the shore. And I can hear some girls in my swim class that are talking around me. Now I'm going to list two things that I can smell. So when I'm at the waterfront, two things that I can smell are pine and sunscreen. Now I'm going to list one thing that I can taste. So when I'm at the waterfront, there's no food there, but I can taste in my mouth the oatmeal that I had for breakfast. Because your imagination is the most powerful thing you have. And remember, once in a comus girl, always in a comus girl.